Welcome to the last episode of the Armor Paint Hydrant Seri. In the last video we worked with masks and painted our hydrant. Now in this short episode we will export our texture and use it in Blender for the rendering. So now let's start. Here I have my file open. This is where we stopped last time. You can see the layers that we created here. Now we are ready to export the textures. For this we simply go to file and down here you find export textures. Here we can change the layers settings on this site but we will let it on default. Here you might want to change settings like the bit color or the file type and so on. If you are ready now then simply click on export. Now you have to save it somewhere. I create a new folder and save it in there. Here we have the textures that we will use now in Blender. Here we are in Blender. We will import our hydrant in Blender and then apply the textures to our materials. Go to File, Import and then to OBJ. Search your location file and load it up. Here we have our materials that we created earlier. We will now apply the textures to it. Split the window and set it to the shader editor. We will now drag and drop our textures into the editor. We are going to connect the textures to the PBR shader node. For this and other textures we will set the texture to non-color mode for better results. If we switch to cycles we can make it look better with a background. We will do now the same thing but now for the chains.
That is basically it. We applied the textures to our materials. We could make the rendering a lot more fancy but this is fine for now. I really really hope that this new little seri helped you to paint a simple object in our more paint. If there are any question or anything else, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a very nice day and also thank you for watching.